New district maps for the upcoming primary election are now available. An after-school enrichment program gets an expansion grant, while the county is lending a hand to residents in need, and professional baseball is back in Gwinnett. Those stories and more in this edition of Eye on Gwinnett. Thanks for watching. I'm Shade Hurst filling in for Deborah Tuff this week. If you are a Gwinnett County voter, listen up. Recently, the governor signed into law new district maps for the county commission, school board, U.S. Congress, state house, and state senate. The county commission maps changes districts for about 40% of Gwinnett voters. New precinct cards are being mailed out with the updated districts. Primary and nonpartisan elections, which now include school board posts, will be held on May 24th with any necessary runoffs on June 21st. Now remember, the deadline to register to vote in the primary is April 25th. You can find more details on GwinnettCounty.com. Si usted es un votante del condado de Gwinnett, escuche. Recientemente, el gobernador promulgó los nuevos mapas de distrito para la Comisión del Condado, el Consejo Escolar, el Congreso de los Estados Unidos, la Cámara Estatal y el Senado Estatal. El mapa de la Comisión del Condado cambia los distritos electorales para aproximadamente el 40% de los votantes de Winnet. Se están enviando nuevas tarjetas de distritos electorales con los precintos actualizados. Las elecciones primarias y no partidistas que ahora incluye puestos en el Consejo Escolar se llevarán a cabo el 24 de mayo y, si es necesario, una segunda vuelta el 21 de junio. Ahora, recuerde la fecha límite para inscribirse para votar en las primarias es el 25 de abril. Puede encontrar más detalles en línea en WinnetCounty.com. Building Brains Anywhere, an educational enrichment program in the county, just got bigger. The Georgia Recreation and Park Association gifted the program with a $275,000 grant. The money will be used to expand the after-school program to Meadow Creek, Rockbridge, Graves, Hawkins, and Corley Elementary Schools. In other parts of the county, Gwinnett is here to support those who help others. Pounds of boxes filled with fresh fruits and goods were distributed to nonprofits, churches, and other organizations to help families in need. It's a part of the county's goal to make food security the only option for residents in every corner of the county. We have people that will come up and pick up and they're people that may be living in their vehicles. They're still working and they still um, have their kids in school. You just don't know what somebody may be going through. If you know someone who may need help or if you would like to volunteer, just head over to volunteergwinnett.net. Play ball! The week-long setback for the Major League Baseball season does not affect the Gwinnett Stripers, a Braves minor league affiliate. Their season opens on the road April 5th with a six-game series against the Memphis Redbirds. The Stripers' home opener at Cool Ray Field is on Tuesday, April 12th, beginning a six-game series with the Nashville Sounds. Well, before we wrap up here, we invite you, as always, to follow at GwinnettGov on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more county news and information, and visit our website, GwinnettCounty.com, or you can stream hundreds of our video programs anytime at TVGwinnett.com. The county's max vaccination sites at Gwinnett Place Mall are open on weekends, and Piedmont Eastside in Snellville is open Fridays and Saturdays, and they are still going strong. So if you need a vaccine or a booster, now's a great time to get one. I'm Shade Hurst. Thanks for watching.